Hi friends, today we're going to actually start measuring. We're going to start measuring, but we're not using our rulers yet. We're going to get to them, but not yet. And the way we're going to measure today is we're going to use our connecting cubes. So you have these connecting cubes and to measure, no matter what we're measuring, we need to make sure that whatever we're using, it needs to be the same length. So that means this cube is the same length as this cube. And it's the same length as this cube and the same length as this cube. I can't use this post-it notepad and this post-it notepad and say that they are the same length and say, oh, it's two post-it notepads long. What? Well, does that tell me really how long it is? No, because this one is much shorter than this one. That didn't work. I need to make sure whatever I use are the same length. What if I use these pencils here? Okay, they're pencils. And what if I say, oh yeah, my computer is two pencils long. Wait a minute. This pencil's much shorter than this pencil. So if I say something's two pencils long and imagine that you think, okay, yeah, it's gonna fit in this because that's two pencils long. And then all of a sudden I have normal size pencils and they're the same size. Wait a minute, that changed an awful lot. Look how much it changed. Phew, an awful lot. They're not the same length. I can't use something that's different sizes to measure. So even if we're not using standard measurement, like a ruler or a tape measurer, we have to use something that is the same. That's what makes it standard. Something that's the same. All right, so let's start measuring. I have my post-it notes. We always use post-it notes. So let's see. How many cubes long is my post-it notepad? Well, I'm going to take my post-it notes. And notice when I do this, I'm not doing it like this. This is not how we measure. Because I lost all of this. And if I count up and say it's one, two, three, four, five, it's five cubes long. No, it's not. Because this one's not even part of it. When I measure, I need to make sure that it's up against this edge is up against this edge. Yeah, they can't be all wonky like that. That doesn't work. So now I'm looking at my cubes and look, this is not perfect, but golly gee, it's pretty close. I have one, two, three, four. This post-it nose pad is about four cubes long. Notice that I don't have to pop my cubes apart to do this. I can count my cubes when they're still connected I don't need to take them apart. That's going to make my job easier when I'm measuring. So they're stuck together. So I would write down that it is four cubes long. Now let's do my scissors. Hmm, my scissors. Oh man, my scissors are longer than my cubes, aren't they? See how much longer they are? Oh, well, you know what? I'm just going to say... It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, twelve. It's or wait a minute, I moved it. Um, oh gee, that won't work, will it? No, that doesn't work. Okay, let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm, I know what I can do. I can get my other ones and I can put them right together with my other cubes. And now I can see that it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 cubes long. See how it stops right there? 11 cubes long. Notice again, when I'm measuring, look, this could be bad. Oh man. What if I measured like this? I, I, I. All right, let's see. It is, oh, it's more than that. Oh my goodness. It is, oh yeah, oh wait. Hold on, let me push them up this way. Maybe up against, yeah, yeah. Oh, now I'm measuring like the curve of it and, mm, wait, I'm gonna put some here. 
All right, let's see. Not in case of me. Uh, that looks good. Okay, let's count. Um, that's not going to work? No, that's not going to work because look, these cubes are not measuring it equally. No. When I have my cubes, I need to have them up against each other like this. This is how I use my cubes to measure. This shows that it's exactly a cube length. What if I wanted to do it like this? Okay, well, I don't have enough cubes, so I'm just going to do it like this and put my cubes like this. Oh, okay, it's one, two, three, four, five, six cubes long. Oh my goodness, no. Because look, look at all this space. That doesn't work either. No, when we are measuring, we need to have our cubes right up against each other. There should not be space around, and I shouldn't be overlapping my cubes. When I use extra cubes, I again, I have to push them together because that's equal amount of distance. So my scissors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 cubes long. Let's measure something else. Here is my square. I know, you thought you were done. All right, here's my square. I, I want to measure my square. Is this right? No, it's not right because I'm not putting it up against the edge. It has to be against the edge. There, now it's against the edge of what I'm measuring with. And I can see that it is one, two cubes long. Hmm, I wonder how long a cylinder is. Let's look. Okay, again, it needs to be at the edge. And when I'm measuring, I have one, two, three cubes long. Let's say you, oh man. Let's say you forgot and you have no idea where your cubes are. First of all, you're probably going to make me cry because I need them back. At the end of the year, I need them back. But what can I use instead? Hmm. Well, instead of using cubes, I can use anything that has the same size. I have many of things that are the exact same size. For instance, I have pennies. I have lots of pennies. I need to put them here. Notice that my pennies are not laying on top of each other. Oh no, that won't work, will it? I can't do that, that's not measuring. I need the exact length of a penny for this to work. Hmm, oh man, one whole penny is, oh man, I'm pretty close. I'm pretty close. Let's count how many pennies I have that I've used. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pennies. So my eraser is about seven pennies long. But could I have done this instead? Could I have used any coin and put them here? What do you think? Will that work? Oh, that's about right. Let's count how many coins. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's six coins long. But wait a minute. What if I say to my friend it's six coins long? And my friend thinks, okay, six coins, I'm going to use pennies. Well, we just showed that. Seven pennies is what it takes to be the eraser, not six. Why is that? Because quarters are much bigger than pennies. We have to use things that are the same size. So if you don't have your cubes, use pennies. Use paper clips. You have to use something that they are the same size.